Good morning, Westfield High School. Today is Tuesday, May 21st, 2024. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, WHS, and welcome to BGTV. I'm Olivia Berger. And I'm Justin Ricky. The Students of Color Club will be holding a meeting this Thursday after school in room 290. If you plan to be involved in the club next year, attendance is advised. All are welcome. The ASL Club will be meeting today after school in room 256. The International Connections meeting has been moved to tomorrow after school. They will be writing letters and there will be snacks. The Community Service Club is collecting lunches on Thursday for the Salvation Army. All lunches should be dropped off at the main entrance. All library books are due on Friday, May 31st. Library fines must be cleared before finals begin. If you have any questions or want to check the status of your account, stop in the library today. Need a stress buster for finals? Swing by the 3D Printing Club in room 140 after school tomorrow to, make, to learn how to make custom fidget toys. Any senior who wishes to compete in the staff vs. student kickball game during the senior picnic on May 30th must complete the Google form in the Student Council Google Classroom by May 23rd. Each team will have a maximum of 20 players to compete in the four-inning game. If there are more than 20 senior students who are interested in playing in the game, a random drawing will take place. If you have any questions regarding the game, please see Mr. Corey. It's time for sports with Emmy Wadanowski. Good morning, Emmy. Good morning, Westfield High School. Here's your BDTV sports update. Yesterday, Sopel had a close win against Hunter and Central 8-7. Congrats to Christopher Parsikian and Toby Zippler who won the Team Ashworth Pitch and Putt Championship with a score of minus 7, which included a hole-in-one for Parsikian. Congrats to Brody Essler and Jack Patterson for winning the two-man scramble event at Echo Lake with a minus 2. Finally, James Dunn won the three-club championship at Ashbrook by shooting a 39. The boys have their last dual match of the season today at Echo Lake versus Cranford. Also today at 4, Baseball will host Summit. That's all for today's sports report. Back to you. Thanks, Emmy. We continue SGA Election Week. What do we have today, Casey? Today, you'll hear from candidates for the secretary positions on the SGA board. The corresponding secretary is responsible for approving fundraising requests for all WHS clubs and handling Friday Music in the Hall playlists. We have two candidates running for this position here to give speeches, freshman Juliet Lerner and Ben Zhao. First up is Juliet Lerner. Real change, enduring change, happens one step at a time. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Electing me, Juliet Lerner, for corresponding secretary is another step towards positive change in Westfield High School. As a member of class council, a student representative, and the prior president of RIS, I have developed essential organization and communication skills. And playing ice hockey has taught me how to give 100% effort in everything I do. Daily music in the halls, an improved pep rally, and fundraisers are just a few of the contributions I would make along with any other of your own ideas. I believe that every student deserves a voice, and with me as corresponding secretary, you will surely be heard. For success, choose the best. And remember, only fools don't vote for jewels. Also running for corresponding secretary is Ben Zhao. Hi, I'm Ben Zhao, and I'm running to be your 2024 to 2025 corresponding secretary. The one thing you should know about me is that I'm an effective leader. Last year, as the president of Edison, me and my student, fellow student council leaders were able to set the first ever anything but a backpack day in the school's history. With the same level of dedication next year, I will make sure everyone's voices are heard in our community. I aim to introduce a Google Classroom with music requests for Music Friday, as well as feedback forms, all to promote fast and easy communication with the SGA. Vote for me. You won't regret it. Thank you. Thanks. The other secretary position on the SGA board is recording secretary. The recording secretary is in charge of all SGA social media accounts. Freshman Mia O'Reilly is running unopposed for this position. If you could change one thing about school, what would it be? Longer breaks? More field trips? Right off the bat, let me tell you, I wish making those changes was an easy possibility. I know that being an elected official comes with the stereotype that I would agree to any idea that comes from my peers. Although I may not have the power individually to make the significant changes I mentioned above, I promise to always have my eyes and ears open. As your recording secretary, I will listen to any student concerns or comments that might lead to changes that will benefit our school. Not only will I listen, I will also work. In fact, I've already started talking with my peers on their insights on change that we can make here at Westville High School. 
Look, I might just be an underclassman, but being new to the school isn't a bad thing. I've got new ideas about a lot of things, and I hope to serve as a voice not only for the underclassmen, but for the entire student body. Tomorrow, you will hear from candidates for treasurer, and votes will be cast. Also remember to look at the proposed SGA constitution if you have not done so yet. Thank you. On Saturday, the Westfield Art Department hosted Arts on the Lawn in front of WHS. Ruby Salzman was there to tell us more. Hi, my name is Ruby Salzman, and we're here in front of WHS with Arts on the Lawn. This event is such a great event for the whole community. As you can see, we have the entire arts department uh, putting this event where people drive by and stop. Arts on the Lawn, previously known as Jazz on the Lawn, is just a really fun experience. It's free, it's out in the open, so that people from all over Westfield can come and enjoy nice music, nice food, nice art, and just enjoy all the events that we have to offer with jazz in the background. They've been running this for a couple years now, but this is like one of the first years in a while that we got to do it outside and have a good time. It's a really nice day out. And you know, it's just a bunch, give the opportunities for not just the jazz band, but the choirs and small ensembles to uh, express music and show the community what we can do. That's it for today. Back to the studio. Thanks, Ruby, and congrats to all the musical groups that performed. Have a great Tuesday, WHS.